Hi, John here. So over the weekend, I got a note from Jason Humphrey here asking a little bit about what the uh, sign looks like from a distance in real life. Well, remember I designed my uh, sign to be used indoors in a gymnasium, and I can definitely say it's easily visible from 20, 30 yards away. It probably could be viewed 50 or even 100 yards away if I had a large enough space to see across that far. Um, in my basement here, I got, uh, I'm showing you, I got the, the, the prototype with one strip per segment versus two, the one, the two segment strips were the ones that I did in my series on, on how to build, how I built my sign. So the, the uh, top prototype with the one strip, as you can see, uh, is definitely visible, uh, but the bottom one is definitely going to be brighter. Uh, but they're both readable, certainly useful indoors. Uh, but he also asks about, uh, what is he doing here? He's talking about uh, endurance carding. Well, clearly that would be out, so out, outside uh, kind of, a, out of an arrangement. So it just so happened that today at lunch, the sun came out for about 10 minutes. So I ran outside with one of my signs and shot it in the sun. Uh, so here we go. The first one here, the sun is at an angle. You can see from the shadow, the light comes in from the left. Glare is definitely a problem from the polycarbonate uh, cover. Maybe uh, consider her shoot, uh, running it without the, without the smoke glass. But uh, if you have the smoke glass, <laughs> you definitely can see if the sun's directly behind the viewer, the glare is completely uh, uh, terrible, and it makes it unreadable. Now, regarding... The number of LEDs, he's talking about uh, he wants 7 meters and so on, 35 LEDs versus 70 and so on. Well, it turns out if you're outside, as you can see, you probably want as many lights in there as you can get. Here's some references to Adafruit products. Here's one that actually has double the density of the pixels of the uh, LEDs that I even used in my sign. It's 60 bucks though, and that's only for 1 meter I used, uh, I don't know, five meters of lights just uh, in my sign. So that might lead to a bit of a price. What else do they got in here? Um, yeah, okay, so in my uh, response earlier, I mentioned you got to be careful with the Pi because the NeoPixels may not work. It turns out if you surf around inside the Adafruit website, somebody wrote... A, uh, a a website, where is it? Here we go. Here's a write-up right here. The R Raspberry Pi WS281X. These are the names of the chips uh, that, that, that are the LEDs themselves on a NeoPixel strip. And generally speaking, they're hard to deal with on a system like a Pi because you're normally writing user programs which don't run with perfect timing. You need to write a driver of some kind for it to work. Well, luckily, this Jeremy Gariff... I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, created this uh, GitHub website, and he did the hard work for you. So he wrote the, uh, a program that uses a DMA transfer to drive the, the PCM logic inside the CPU and the Pi to generate the proper waveform. So it looks like that problem is solved. What's the date on this? I'm embarrassed. Well, about four months ago. So, wow. He wrote the thing uh, earlier this year, so I guess I didn't notice this. This is kind of useful, if you again, if you want to use a Pi to run your sign. I used an Arduino. Uh, for me, they were uh, uh, an easier fit, a better fit for, the, uh, for my project. But as soon as you want Wi-Fi, and that's one of the things I wanted to do in a later project, you're going to want to deal with something that deals with Wi-Fi and TCP so you can uh, have an easier time writing the software to drive data into your sign which is what uh, Jason here was asking about. If he wants to use an ESP32 or a Raspberry Pi. So it looks like you're in luck. You got a, the code for the Raspberry Pi, and uh, you can also go ahead and get a larger number of these LEDs from Adafruit if you need a brighter sign. The other thing that comes to mind, by the way, if you're outside, maybe lose the um, polycarbonate cover. Just run it without the, without a, without the smoke glass. Certainly would get rid of the glare. Maybe it would be a little bit more readable outside. Otherwise, if you need more light than you can get, even at this kind of a density uh, of LEDs on a strip, you might have to go with discrete LEDs and fill it with a huge number of them. But that's a whole other ball game. Uh, you would need, you know, you couldn't, 
probably can't find them that are addressable on a simple strip like this. You'd probably have to build a whole circuit with FETs and things like that to drive the individual segments. And that's a completely different style project. But uh, if you did it that way, of course, you could have an arbitrarily large number of LEDs with a huge amount of power, which could definitely work even in a stadium. So, eh, sky's the limit if you go that way. Otherwise, a strip like this might do you.